<laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on where you are in the world and depending on when you get to see this video. So guys, I decided to come and give you guys the review of that wonderful face cream that I have been using. I just want you guys to know that it actually works. Obviously, those of you who have been following me, my sponsors, you've actually seen the videos and you can actually see that my skin is much improved. So for those of you who haven't seen the video, I think I've done either two or three videos on this product. It's the Dream Cream Overnight Gel Mask. Guys, when something works, I will share it with you guys. Let me put my glasses on just because, you know, I've got a bit of puffiness in the eyes, but that is no reflection on this product. So this, the product does work. I've actually started using it as a day cream as well. That's another reason why I came to do this review, because you guys know I will just tell you guys the truth of the product i will tell you exactly how i've been using it and exactly how it has been working for me so next time i actually go to poundland my favorite place to shop <laughs> yeah i love it i can afford it i love going there because i know that even if i go there with five pounds i know i'll still be able to have a nice treat so yeah poundland all the way even when I become a millionaire, even if I become a billionaire, I will still go to Poundland. Yeah, I will. I'll still pop in there because I'm kind of like that as well. I get used to going places and I keep on going back to those places. That's just the way I am. If I'm happy with the shop, if I'm happy with the product, I will revisit it. I will revisit it till the rest of my natural life. So pound land stuck with me baby even when i become rich you guys will still be seeing me so guys i was saying i've also started using it as a day cream as well if you're sitting there wondering why have you started using it as a day cream i'm about to tell you the reason why i started using it as a day cream as well is because you know it's light enough it's light and fresh enough for you to do so. And also because sometimes I just fall asleep, you know. Some of you girls that do beauty as well, that do these kind of uh, product reviews, will understand what I'm saying. You know, sometimes you're tired, whatever, life gets in the way and you don't do your nighttime routine for whatever reason. So I just said to myself, there's no law that says that I can't use it as a day cream. So guys, I started using it as a day cream as well. So if you if you're one of my sparters, if you're one of the people who trust the product reviews that I do, you can use it as a day cream and see how you go, see how you feel about it. But what I would say to you is if you decide you want to use this as a day cream, just put on a little bit. You know, just do your do your product tests. So just try a little bit on if you're so obviously you're going to use it under your makeup you're not going to put your makeup and then put it on top so you know just try a little bit and see how it goes and lastly i also use it on my hands so i do this i do this with a lot of products that i use that work for me if it works on my face i'll use it on my hands especially if i'm seeing positive results so I'll use it on my hands as well. So that's what I do. So guys, there you have it. It is 50 milliliters. This should, actually, this should actually last you more than a month, depending on how you use it, because you don't really need that much because of the consistency. You don't really need that much. You, a little bit goes a long way. And obviously this is targeted towards it's packaged towards girlies, but as we know, so many guys are into beauty as well. So if you're a guy who cares about your skin, you like beauty, you might want to try this as well. You're going to love it. Like I said before, you can go and see, even the video I did yesterday when I was dancing, you know, my face looks nice and fresh in that video. 
was i wearing any makeup yesterday i can't actually remember but i really do love these kind of products that allow the skin to glow and actually look nice even without foundation on so guys i'm sticking to this next time i go to poundland i'm gonna stock up i'm gonna get i think next time i go to poundland i'll get five of this and i think these uh these i think this costs either two pounds or 250 british money two pounds or 250 for 50 milliliters and just it's called just right beauty dream cream overnight gel mask and it's infused with oat extract so guys that's it for this product i think i've covered everything about this product now that's what i do i make sure i cover every angle if you like this content if you like this kind of content please like comment and subscribe please help me to get my numbers to well the month has almost ended but it doesn't matter because obviously we all know you can get those numbers in the day you can get more than that in a day i don't limit myself and i don't limit god i really don't because i know that everything is possible with him it is possible to get a million subscribers it just it's just a matter of people pressing the button at the end of the day it's not impossible well and i don't i don't listen to people who tell me you can't do this and you can't do that i really don't i really don't I don't need such people in my head. I don't need such people in my space. And neither do you. You need the kind of people that will tell me, yeah, go for it. You need the kind of people that will tell me, yeah, go for it. That's a wonderful idea. You can do it. How can I help? Guys, that's actually also a good test of whether somebody is for you or somebody is not for you. It is actually really a good test, you know, of friendship, of character, of behavior, you know, when you're sounding out your ideas, another thing is sometimes learn how to keep your ideas to yourself. That's something that I'm actually learning myself to just do things without without sharing them. God actually said that as well. You know, keep quiet about the things that you want to do, because obviously not everybody's going to be happy about the fact that you want to do it. So, you know, learn how to keep your ideas to yourself. You know, just go ahead and do them. Let people actually see them in action. You know, let people see you actually doing those things. Guys, you know what it's like. We give birth to ideas. And I know that um, somebody was talking about something the other day and uh, somebody was saying, yeah, that, you know, men don't give birth. So, you know, and it was something along the lines of uh, the conversation of maybe them not being able to feel i'm not going off on a tangent i'm going somewhere with this stick with me you know something about maybe them not being able to feel those birth pangs but the thing is we all give birth they also give birth to ideas but they don't actually give birth physically the way that women can do but men also give birth to ideas they give birth to ideas they give birth to concepts they give birth to ideologies it's a deep topic with scope for further discussion and it's something that i'll be talking about further on when the numbers guys if you're a deep diver if you're the kind of person who is a deep diver if you're a deep diver you will know exactly what i'm talking about if you're a deep diver and you're interested in me getting into all those kind of things the best thing for you to do is hit the like button and subscribe. I'll only start talking about those things when the numbers increase because there is no point in talking about those kind of concepts and ideologies if the community is not large enough or if they're not ready, you know, to receive those ideas. When I have the numbers, I'll know that, yeah, I've got the community and I've got the kind of like-minded like people who are receptive you know who are receptive to that knowledge who want to know that wisdom but if we don't have those kind of numbers you know we just stick to you know doing all this kind of stuff yeah until we're ready to get into the deep diving stuff 
Guys, I love you. Those of you who are my Spartans who have supported me, those of you that keep me in the game, thank you very much. Those of you who ginger me, those of you who pep me up, you know, those of you who just inspire and motivate me, you know, to keep on doing this thing that I do. So guys, never, ever, ever think that I take your support for granted. I really don't. I'm not that kind of person. I'm a, I'm a loyal person. I know the people who support me. And I always say to God, please give me that spirit of discernment that I may know the people who genuinely support me. You know, the people who are really, really interested in my growth, in wanting to see me get bigger and better. I really, really, really want to get to the point where in my street ministry, I can just give people money without thinking about it. That means that I'll just be able to give people money without thinking about oh, got bills that need to be paid. Abba Father, please help me to pay these bills. Help me to get out of debt and help me please to launch my community project. My community project. So I've already spoken about them. I've already spoken about them, so it's not a secret. I've already spoken about them. I want to do my community fridge. I want to do my community kitchen. And I want to do my community supermarket. The community project is something that I have been thinking about right from, right from when I was Instagram. The community fridge is an idea and it's a concept that I saw somewhere else. Somebody was actually already doing that in Brixton. I don't know whether that community fridge still exists in Brixton. I don't know if it's still there. You know, they had this community fridge in the market in Brixton. For those of you who don't know what a community fridge is, it's basically a fridge with produce in it, like daily produce that all of us would need to live our daily lives you know like juice this is not juice by the way this is uh bellini you know like juice fruit veg uh milk um milk butter you know staples things that everybody would actually need you know to survive daily so what they had was the, basically they had this revolving fridge when I say revolving fridge, it's basically re the products are revolving, not the fridge itself revolving. So basically anybody can just go to the fridge and just take whatever it is they need. And obviously, because it's a community project and everybody knew that it was a community project for charity, nobody took advantage of it. People would just go and they would take what they need. So what they do is people would take whatever it is they needed for themselves and the people who were running that project would replenish it. And basically that's how the community fridge works. And I just felt to myself, wow, that's a wonderful idea. That is something that I would like to do. And then it later it turned out, I found out that the co-op, the co-op actually copied that idea. I don't know if they copied it from those people or whether they actually saw it somewhere because Anyway, guys, before I go off on a tangent and go on and on and so the video is too long for me to actually upload, I want to do my community project. That is the project that I want to give birth to in real life. I really, really want to do my community projects. All this money that I've been talking about, all this million, 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 I've been saying I manifest a million. I want to manifest a million. That's what I want the money for. That's what I want the money for because I have asked people to help me. I don't know whether they will change their minds. I don't know whether, whether that help will be forthcoming. But that is what I want to do. I want to build my community fridge, my community kitchen and my community supermarket. So as I explained, the other community projects, they run on the same basis as the fridge. It's the same concept. So you have a supermarket Depending on the location, you have a community supermarket. Obviously, like any other supermarket, it's going to stock everything, but it will be a free supermarket. Yeah, it will be a free supermarket. So everybody, everybody will have their allocation. You come in, you get the things that you need, and 
we replenish as we go along. So the idea is that we will actually have people supporting us. Obviously, I'm going to put in my own capital because this is my baby. Yeah, this is my baby. I obviously put in my own capital. But if I have people supporting us, you know, in the community, if we have supermarkets, you know, companies supporting, it will be easy to replenish the products. The amount of food that goes to waste in this world let me not talk about London. Let me not talk about England. The amount of food that goes to waste in this world. If you give me that food, I will be able to recycle it. I know I can, I know I can do it. Hmm? I know I can do this thing. I know I can do it easily. Hmm? So this is my prayer. If you're somebody that supports me, if you're one of my supporters, if you're one of my supporters, if you're one of my supporters, join your prayers to mine, join your faith with mine so that this project can actually come to light. This is an intentional post, guys. This is an intentional post. Join your faith with mine so that this project can come to light. Yeah, guys, I will build community fridges, supermarkets. And what was the other one? Community fridge, community supermarket and community kitchen. Community kitchen, as the name implies, you can come to community kitchen. Whatever's on the menu, you eat it. Yeah. I hope to have a variety. Obviously, like any other kitchen, there will be a variety of foods catering to a variety of needs. And the idea, the idea is to also give the people who come to volunteer money as well. To give them money and to pay them money in a way that doesn't make them feel uncomfortable if they have something else that they're doing. Guys, this is the way that I run my projects. This is the way that I run my projects because if people are happy, they will do more without you having to push them. So guys, these are the projects I have spoken it. I have spoken it into action. I have spoken it in this video. So I hope to see you one day in one of my community kitchens, in one of my community supermarkets, in one of my community fridges. Guys, I am going to do this. I know that I'm going to do this thing. All that money that I was looking for, that was what I, I was looking for the money for, basically. That's what I want the money for. That's what I'm trying to get that million for so that I can actually do this thing. Once I have done it in one town, I know that I'll be able to just reproduce it, you know, in communities, you know, that have a need for it. So, guys, that's it, basically. That's what I want to do. So help me to get the numbers up. Help me to get the numbers up so that my money can grow so that I can actually do these projects mm, 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 mm. thank you sparsers thank you for watching thank you for indulging me thank you for getting my numbers up like comment subscribe um turn on the notification button so that you can be alerted for my new uploads okay baby have yourself a wonderful day and guys always remember that sparta love is the best kind of love because spartas they stay they stay for life, yeah? They stay for life. They do not unsubscribe. Why are you unsubscribing? Where are you going to? Have yourself a wonderful day.